Yeah, so this is a 2023 Tesla Model 3. Um, as you can see, I have on the ground here, a coolant leak. Um, uh, Liza Tesla shop was working on this car. They were spraying the bumper and stuff. And um, when the car came back, it had a coolant leak. So I took it back to them and um, they had it for a week again. They ordered some parts, holes they said, and they give it back to me. And now, after have after having it for um, not even a week, I started getting a signal that um, notification that I have low coolant. And now, when I checked again, I realized it's still leaking. So this time, I'm gonna go and check for myself underneath to see what is actually going on. So I'm gonna pull. I don't have a lift. I'm gonna just pull it up on this ramp. So now that I'm under here, I can see the coolant dripping right here. This is the front section. It has some 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna go take these, then this, this cover off and see where the leak is coming from. Here you can see, a more coolant leak right there. I'm gonna go see where this leak, and as you can see, that the, the I can't tell exactly where the coolant leak is coming from. All I know is that it's settled over this side, so it's coming from the front, and I can see some coolant right on that um, that front fan right there. So I don't know if it's coming from the radiator. Um. But all I know is coming from somewhere at the front. So, um, I removed the covering from here. You just pull it up. And then I removed this also, which you just pull this thing up. It goes right here like this. It goes right here like this. So you just pull on it and get it up. And then this is the coolant um, reservoir, you can see. It's pretty low. You can't even see anything inside of it. Because it's really, really low. So, um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to remove this entire thing to see what's going on down in there. So, um, there's one bolt. One bolt here, one here, one here, one right here. And then you remove this cover from here. This cover was right here. You remove this and then there's two more bolts right here to be removed. And then this thing just comes right up. So now that I have the cover off, you can see inside the entire, this is the all-wheel drive, so it has a motor at the front. You can see the entire HVAC system and the entire, this is the reservoir. You can see the max. So it's good to fill it up while this thing is off so you can see it properly. But I'm not seeing any leaking from up here, but as you can see down there, you can see that something is leaking on this side. So I guess something is leaking probably right here. And see my hand is wet right here, so. And I don't know if this is the hose these guys change. This hose look, they all look brand new anyways. Cause it's supposed to be a brand new car. And on this side, on this side there's nothing there's nothing wet on this side but then there's some kind of wet thing on this one so i think that in here something is not right you know over this side so on this side this is a side that seems like it has never been messed with there's not a lot of play on this side 
this side there is more movement. There are more movements on this side. So right there, there is the the um there is the connection from underneath, and that is where it's leaking. Um, I really don't know why it's leaking right there. They, they, you can see that they put a new connector on it, but then it's still leaking right there. So something is not right with that thing. Um, it doesn't look like the it is um, the the thing is cracked or anything. It just probably doesn't have a seal inside of it. So I'm gonna have to take it off and see if this, the, the O-ring that is supposed to be on that thing is still there. Cause that's the only reason why that thing could be leaking is if the O-ring is not in it. So I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna check it and see if the O-ring is no longer there. So this is the same um, clip, um, clip and connection like what the BMW uses. seal would be inside of this this is the seal right here inside and then the clip goes in place and hold it right in here so I don't really know why it's not working so <clears throat> I just, just try to put some um, threading tape on this thing. Don't know if it's gonna work, but I have to try something. And this is the reason why I always like the old fashioned hose with the clamps. Because all I would have to do is put an adjustable clamp and tighten the clamp some more and I would be good. All right, these quick connectings that these cars use just like the BMW, there's a BMW right there. It uses the same thing. And when they're not working, they're just not working. You know, you, you they, they, they replace this hose and it has the same problem. Nothing changes. You understand? So it doesn't even make sense. So um, I just have to see if this thing works. I'm gonna put the hose on. I'm gonna um, bleed the system. We fill the reservoir and then I'm going to see what happens. This is the coolant that it uses. As it says, BMW and Mercedes. This coolant is already mixed, so it is it's ready to use. It's G48. This is the only one that's supposed to go in the Tesla. It's a BMW. You can get this BMW one with the blue top, with the blue coolant in it. There's a blue coolant came out of it. If this car is empty, it's 17 liters to fill it, but this is not empty, this is just stopping off. I bought this at O'Reilly's Auto. So um, for this, for you to, if, if, if the system doesn't have any air, it doesn't leak like this is leaking, you could probably just top it off. As you can see, the maximum is right here. Um, this is the maximum and this is the minimum. So this is where it's supposed to, be when it's full so this you have to put this in a service mode you have to put it in a refill mode so it takes in the the um the, the coolant these cars have um electronic pumps so you know it can bleed itself you can purge the system you know it's not like a, um, even the bmw can do it i also have electronic pumps some of them some of the models um so I'm gonna go inside 
and then I'm gonna try to figure out how to do this thing and refill this thing. So now I'm gonna put this thing in um, service mode so I can um, refill the system. I'm gonna put my key card right here. Um, I'm gonna click on the home button then I'm gonna go to software then I'm gonna go to hold model down I'm gonna type in service so I'm gonna be working on the thermal system the cooling system and as I can see, that's the cooling system there with the pump running. This pump, there's two pumps, one for the battery, one for this. It have a chiller for the refrigerant, that cool refrigerant. And then you have another thing over here for the refrigerant. Um, the next thing is, what I'm gonna do now is gonna I'm gonna start thermal drain and fill. So to do that, the system is locked, the gateway for you to do anything. So you have to put the turn signal all the way over to the right. And then you have to press the brake until this thing's finished, eight seconds. Now it's now open for 90 minutes and then I can start thermal drain and thing and then I click run. And then I close. It says start J rerun. So now it says now I can start if ready to to fill drain. So I'm gonna start to fill this thing up now. And I'm gonna go throw the um, pour the, 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 the coolant inside of that thing. I'm gonna click purge on the system. This routine can take up to 10 minutes to complete. Now you can see the purging is start has started. I fill that thing up all the way to the top. And it's taking it's going down. It's taking in the coolant and let's say pushing out the air. Sometimes it pushes back up. So you can see there's a lot of bubble. This takes like 10 minutes. I'm keeping an eye on this area. I don't see anything. It seems dry for now. As you can see, there's a lot of bubble coming up. It's bleeding in the system. And if you look at the you can hear it. Coolant ear purge started. It will take up to 10 minutes to complete to stop rerun the cool routine with stop as an input after doing all of that purging the system and um driving for um, maybe a couple of hours i realized that it was still leaking coolant on the ground so it doesn't seem like it was coming from the connector it seems as if it was coming from the radiator itself so um i had to take it back to the shop and they um said that they're gonna purchase a new radiator for it i think they they probably had damaged the radiator they don't want to tell me but i think that's what happened when they're removing the bumper and stuff i think they damaged the radiator so um yeah that's what happened so they had to change the replace the radiator um and so i'm gonna just see now if it's gonna leak again but for now it's not leaking 
So at least I figure out how to do the purging without have to buy a software from Tesla for how many thousands of dollars. So um it was it was it was um not it was still a good experience um purging the system. So if I ever have to do it I know how to do it.